What's up, time kippers? Me, Tom Gamer here. Gonna be trying out Russian Roulette One Life. So, if ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright, guys, so I'm finally back. Just took a small little break. Had a lot of this stuff to do to work. The videos are gonna be a bit sporadic, maybe during the Christmas season, but I'm gonna try to record as much as possible for you guys to enjoy the video. So, today, I'm starting off the week, uh, or the week this is releasing. Uh, with a small little video uh, called Russian Roulette One Life. So uh, this could be the, the the best game ever or it could be the shortest video I ever made in my life. Uh, so this basically is a Russian Roulette. I have to go to talk to this uh, red-eyed sir man here. Uh, what going? What is this game? It's basically Russian Roulette as you understand but if I get shot, uh, if I get shot in the game, uh, I can, uh, let's I play Russian Roulette. If I lose uh, I can't play the game ever again. That that easy. Never again. <laughs> but if I keep winning, I get to keep moving forward and forward until I reach, I guess, how far it is. Now the cool thing about this game is there's this little graveyard around the cabin. As you can see, when I look at some, all these, they all have names. So basically, global, all these are like players that have played and actually uh, died, but uh, the closer, uh, if I remember, is the higher the score, the closer to the cabin you are. Let's see if I go all the way to the other end here. If there is an end. Oh, there it is. Two. So yeah, the the suckier you are, the further down you go. So the clo the more the more kills you get, the closer to the cabin you are. So sort of the leaderboard thing. Now there, is, this game is free on Steam. I'll try to put the link in the description below. You guys want to try it? So there is a practice mode, so I will practice to make sure I understand the, the game. But then after that, I'll uh, hopefully we'll be able to play this game and last long enough. Hopefully I won't die on the first try. So let's find the door. Now we have to talk to this fine little gentleman with his gun almost going through the table. E. Uh, start game. What? What is this place and who are you? This place and this moment is the beginning of a journey and for you. I am merely your guide through it. Do not know me, I doubt we will get to know each other given the path you are on. I've been tasking I've been tasked with taking you as far as as I can go. I'm not here to antagonize or aid you. I'll be with you whenever you go. Wherever you go. A familiar face in the case you lose yourself in a strange world. Right now, you should choose to go on this journey. You have to pick up the gun and play this game with me. Okay. How do I get out of here? There's no, only one way out, a bullet to your head. There is no escaping, escaping it. If you were to tell you, you can sit here and wait till you die of old age. The only thing that changes is the time between this moment and the moment of your inevitable death. You change nothing. You have the same impact as everyone else. A grave in this infinite no nothingness. The only thing you can do while you are here is make sure you... Your gravestone lets people know you how many times you won the battle against me. If that is not what you are here for, then what other purpose do you have? Alright. Uh, what does the sick game of your how does this sick game of yours work? You start with selecting whether you want to practice with a blank round or a live bullet. You can practice how, however many times you want with the blank round. There is no repercussions. Nothing changes. This is where you get to know the weapon, how it feels, how far the barrel turns, the possibilities. I recommend you take the time learning the game with the blank round because the only other option is this, is this, is the live bullet. If you play with me with, a, with the live bullet and lose, well, the game is over for you, forever. All right. What happens when I get shot? If you get shot with the live round, you die, forever. The next time you come to this, you will be a ghost, a mere shadow of yourself. You won't be able to play this game with me again. Well, that's not really true, but more on that later. Well, uh, what will... What you will leave behind is a gravestone, a memento mori, if you will, uh, on which you can leave a message for the rest of the world to see. The higher the number of times you will kill me, the closer your graveyard will be to this tavern. For a little bribe, I'll give you a special headstone bigger and brighter than the ones that you see outside. Alright. How does the gun work? You can select the force with which to spin the barrel. 
If the selector ends up in this in the blue section, you'll have no not spun it hard enough and need to spin it again. If the selector ends in the green section, then you can be assured that it will, the cylinder will spin an exact amount, the, uh, an amount you can tell from experience. Uh, coupled with that, with uh, the knowledge of which chamber the bullet was in when spun, you can exactly predict the chamber which the bullet is, which the bullet is. If you spin too hard, the selector ends up in the, in the red section, then all bets are off, and the bullet can end up in any random chamber. All right, so that's something we're gonna we're gonna try out with practice mode. Uh, what if I don't want to play? You can st stroll outside and look at all the others have walked the ra this realm. I'm not much of a talker. We can go back and forth all you want with the blank round. If you want to be a big baby about it, oh, okay. Whoa, okay. I see you're challenging me. Can I only really? Can I only really play once? Well, there is something that I have and a motor and then and. Immortality potion of sorts, but it doesn't come cheap. It will need something real value from your realm for me to give it to you. All right, so this is the you can buy like a four dollar sort of a DLC, which you still to get in that graveyard. You can all you can still get it only once to be in that graveyard, but you can play infinite amount of time. And there's a sort of a ghost leaderboard, sort of another another graveyard where you can keep changing your position and stuff. But I am, we're going to try this. So we're going to start the game. So we're going to practice. So select whether you want to practice or real play for real. When you practice, you can see the chamber spinning. The, the, the chamber will be hidden when you play with real bullets. If you die with a real bullet, you won't be able to play the game again. Okay, practice with fake bullet. Okay. Click on any chamber to load it. All right, here. Hold the spin cylinder. Okay. Shoot. Boom. Took the shot. Alright, so by selecting, by spinning the cylinder, by holding it, so let, let's, I put it in this corner. If I, if I go into the green, by practicing, I'll know where that amount of green will lead me. And it seems like most of the time, most of the time, if I go that amount, it will always go about the same split, same space. Okay, you can only do that a couple times. Okay. Okay, new round. Alright, so that was the practice. Start game. Practice with fake bullet. Hold to spin cylinder. Okay. So it's about the same every time. So I know that if I take the shot now, it's gonna click. That's two. Click, click. Now he's gonna get a click. I'll get a click. Now I got a shot. Okay. Okay. So let's. I'm gonna practice one more time. If I put the bullet here. Do about the same force I do every time. Now it should be over here. See about. It comes back to the same. Same place. Click. Okay, so when he falls. Okay, okay. Okay, so when he falls, I can basically rechamber the bullet and then try it again. Okay, now I get it. Okay, so if I put the bullet here again. Spin the cylinder. It, it's probably going to land in the same area again. Yep, it always lands if I do that.
No, he folds again. Okay, so if I keep doing this, I, di I didn't go as strong, so it might land on the... Uh... Oh, no, okay. That's weird. Shoot. Oh, okay. That's weird. The bullet's not even close, though. Okay. Alright, let's try it for real now. Okay, I've lollygagged. Well, let me practice one more time. Just see if I can try to understand it a bit better. So if I put it here. Okay, because when it landed here, he took a shot. I took a shot, he took a shot, but died. Oh no, when you pull the trigger, it clicks one over. I forgot that. Nope, I'm gonna fall on that one. So like that, I don't know where it is right now. So if I go all the way to the max, it's pretty random. If I shoot, it's not going to shoot me, but if he shoots, he's going to... Yeah, okay. Now I get it. Let me practice one more time. I just keep choosing this spot, because at least I know what's going on. And this is about the... If I go completely... Uh, if I go to the, like, the center, like halfway... I didn't actually count whatever it was, but I should be fine. If he shoots, he's gonna die. Okay. All right, let's try. It. Let's see how many times we can we can live. <laughs> Are you sure you want to play with a live round? If you die, you won't be able to play again. Yes. All right, let's load it here. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't... Ah, you sound bitch. I'm going to fold. I'm pretty sure it landed right on the fucking money. Hmm. Oh, cool. Cool, new round. Okay, we won the first round. There we go. Start a game. Play with a real bullet. Yes. All right. Like this one. Uh, the only thing that sucks is it doesn't spin on that one. Uh, shit. Shoot. Oh, thank God. Do I shoot? Let's do it. Oh, please, please do it. Ah, no, I'm not. I'm folding on that one. Nope. Because like that, though, I, just, I don't have the advantage. That's the only problem here. All right, so... Technically, it should land here. Alright. Nope. Alright, let's try this again. Technically, it should land... I should be... Should do the same thing exactly again this time. Okay, phew. No, he folded again. Uh, the stranger, okay, so he can't fold again. So I know if I do it, I'm still in the same force. So technically, it sh I should be able to do again. He won't be able to fold again. Okay. 
I should be able to shoot myself one more time. Okay, he has to pull, and I think it's going to get him. No, now I have to fold. Fold. Because I know it's it, where it landed. Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, shit. Hold, no, I'm not. I'm gonna have to shoot. <laughs> this might be my final round. Shit. Yep. You died. New round. Can't play anymore. I can't play the game anymore. No! Oh, I lasted two rounds. That's unfortunate. That is... I wonder if I can try to find my gravestone here. Alright, well, I can't find the tombstone. I guess it's not loaded in yet. Or I guess, I don't know if he adds it manually or something. I don't know. I have no clue. But thank you so much, guys, for watching this small little video. That was a pretty fun little game. It's a cool concept. Uh, it's uh, the mechanics a bit weird. I don't. It probably needs a lot more refinement. But like, the game is still a very intriguing kind of mechanics where you can only play one time. So if you guys enjoyed it, it's free to download on Steam. You guys can definitely check it out. Tell me your score in the comment below. Uh, how far you got in the game. And of course, like and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it. Go follow me everywhere. Me, Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you next video. Keep on keeping on.